Hello, Trace Waters here, and we're looking down at my latest project. And what I'll call, I guess, a miniature grow light. And I guess that's all relative, but I had some three watt LEDs in a drawer that were just sitting there, so and some other components too. So I figured, why not? Let's put something together. Uh, what we're looking at with the LED wise are. Like I said, three Y LEDs, although they don't really run at that. And of course, it depends on what color. But what I'm running are two blues here, a white, and two blues on the Anolent series, running off of these uh, buck regulator drivers from Sure Electronics. The other one is just straight reds. They're running about 660 nanometer range. Blues are 420, I want to say, maybe 440. And then the white was just kind of to tie it all in together. And that's I, it's 5,000 Kelvin is the temperature I got for it. So to construct these, and you don't have to do it this way, but I use these little heat sink chips and a little thermal paste. And then I solder on, yes, I said solder, these three watt chips. And I'm running them in series. It's just easier for me to do it this way. Uh, these aren't enough for heat dissipation. These get pretty darn warm. So I had this larger heat sink here sitting around. And what I did was I used some thermal glue to glue them on there. And it's working really well. I was going to put a fan on, but I don't know that it's necessary. I might just just to keep them cool. They, they're supposed to last longer if you keep them cool. So they're running off these buck regulators like I said and these are the adjustable kind. Uh, I don't know, you probably can't see it on the video but you can put these little tabs in and then sum up the values to get your desired current. So I've got them both set at 600 milliamps. These max out at 700. So just a little bit lower to, to keep the temperatures a little bit cooler helps and more traffic. there's not uh, not a huge difference and then like I said I got this 24 volt power supply laying around to drive it all now here a lot of this is extra stuff but I wanted to check out to see how the PWM function on these work now I won't ultimately use it in the end because it's really not necessary for what I want to do. Maybe you could replicate a sunrise and sunset for your plants. I don't know, but to me I, it doesn't really much matter. But I was just kind of curious to, to see how well it worked because Julian Illett had done a video, and I think that's why I even thought to get these in the first place, was on the same company to make a sepic driver with a different chip. And he was having a lot of problems with the, the PWM. Of course he figured it out how to do it um, but this this is pretty straightforward. Now it doesn't seem to work all that smoothly, but that could definitely be operator error on my part. I'm pretty new with the Arduino stuff, but it does in a sense work. So like I said, I just threw that in as, as something extra, and I'll, I'll put the link up for the code if uh, it's something you want to do or prove upon. And that's kind of the whole idea behind all this is to, is to get started somewhere and then improve improve upon it. Now these are really bright, should be plenty to, to, to grow a small plant, a fruiting, flowering small plant is the idea. So I might use it as, as a seed starter, but it is overkill on that because really all you need is fluorescent tubes to do that. But what I want to do is see how much power or the minimal amount of power I, I can use to, to get a plant, say a strawberry, it's kind of what I have in mind for these although I might use something different to start from seed or, or runner and, and bring it through maturity and then to, to get some fruit off of it is the idea so got some time to, to prove itself but the theory is sound I believe um, my other lights working fine and um, I, I, I don't believe that's working as efficient as, as it possibly could so alright well let's turn it on and so you can see, of course, the camera doesn't do it any justice, but I can tell you I 
can't look at them or I'll see spots for the next five minutes. So, plug in the Arduino, you can see the fade function. So yeah, it works. That's the good part. It, it, it might not always do things the prettiest, but the bottom line is I want it to work. So, all right. Well, let's switch over, and I'll show you some of the, the components where you can find them, as well as kind of the basis of where I'm I'm putting this together. Some of the ideas I'm using. Okay, if you do an internet search for photosynthetic active radiation, then or PAR, you'll get an image like this, or similar to this. Now there's different charts for different plants, and so on and so forth, but this is the basic idea. And we're not getting too fancy, you can go into the chlorophylls and, and all that stuff, but I just want this thing to work. We can worry about fine tuning it later, because like I said, each plant is, is a little bit different. So what we're trying to do is focus on these two peaks here, which are these, these blues, which is around anywhere on here. It looks like from 400 to you know, 460 nanometers is the, is the main range there with a secondary peak right there. Also in the reds, we have something similar too, which according to this chart, you know, it's around 660, 675 somewhere in there and then above 700 uh, that that matches up more or less with with what I have on the board so I just wanted to show you you know an image of, of the idea behind why I'm using the colors I am now I notice a lot of the, the commercial grow lights they like to focus on a lot of red and I believe that is because they want to focus on the flowering and fruiting plants but I, I think this should be enough red, especially if I'm doing a small strawberry or similar berry plant that um, I think I should have more than enough provided. Only time will tell, we'll see. So that's what that looks like. All right, here's a close up of the buck regulator. As you can see, I've got the tab set here in the 600 milliamp column and it works well. Here's the 24 volt power supply, kind of generic. And then, of course, we have our LEDs here. I measured the voltage drops on each one and total 16 and a half watts of power, so not too bad. Also, we got this Arduino here. I picked that up on eBay, $4.85. Can't beat that. So, hope you got something out of the video, and hopefully, I'll have an update here months or so on success and the whole idea behind it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment, please like, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Peace!